So let's now talk about the talking head video. So previous lecture, we discussed how to record your screen, but some of the lectures just do not require the screen. Some lectures just require explanation. Some lectures just require you sitting down in front of the camera, if you are using a camera and just explaining things in a direct way. So how you can actually record those? Well, these videos are called talking head because they are literally just that, a talking head. All you need to do to record such videos is to put your camera in a stable place, or preferably on a tripod, across you, you just sit down in a position and start talking, right? In an essence, it's just that. You don't need anything else than that. Just have a camera in one position, have you on your other position, and just start talking and explaining different things. Everything else can be done in editing. Right? Well, yes, but let's just spice up things a bit. You see, talking head videos are pretty easy to record, but to make them look good, that's actually a really important thing. Unlike a screen recording where everything that is happening on the screen is important for a student, now here in the talking head videos, the beauty and the quality is actually pretty important now. It's because it's far more pleasant to have a conversation with a beautiful picture, right? Well, it's not that you should be beautiful or you should be very handsome or very attractive. I'm not saying you are not, you probably are. But here far more important is how the quality of an image actually looks like. First thing what you should be thinking of when you are recording a talking head videos is framing. Framing is basically what is visible on a screen when someone is watching. Basically, frame is the screen. Basically, a square where everything is located on a screen. Where it starts on the top, where it ends on the bottom, where it starts and ends on from the right and from the left sides of the screen. This is what you need to think about before you're gonna actually hit the record. You're gonna put it in a good framing and try to not put the things that are not necessary in a frame like right now do you think do you see something that is not necessary in a frame yes that's right here that's a cable that has been there from the very beginning that's a cable it's not necessary there it's just a clutter so i'm pretty sure that some of you might actually have seen that and thought that oh, what the hell this cable is doing there it's not looking great some of you might be thinking like that and it's actually changes the quality of the video a bit. What I should do actually is to get rid of this cable. Now, cable is not visible there anymore. Much better, right? And such small details in framing is actually very important. Try to have very clean and tidy environment behind you. And it's actually far better to, to record your videos in front of the blank wall. Well, if you cannot clean your room for some reason or your workplace for some reason, or it's just over clutter. Don't worry if you have like a library or things like that behind you. I'm not talking about things like that. I'm talking about the things that should not be behind you and like very untidy, like cables swinging around and things like that. Yeah, you should have very clean background in order to have a good recording of your talking head. Next is, well, uh, next brother, actually the first one, the most important is you have a good lighting. You see, the quality of a picture is purely dictated by the light, not by the camera itself, or not even by framing. Let me show you an example. What you see right now is a few points of lighting uh, in this room. There's actually one light in front of me right here, which is called a key light, which illuminates my face from this side, which this basically is perpendicular for this one. Uh, there's another light which is illuminating this side of my face, which is located right here. And there are a few practical lights. Practical lights are behind me. There is a light strip behind the table. There's the screens themselves, which are looking pretty good. And there is actually lighting right here on the screen. I'm not sure if you will be able to see that, but if I put my hand like that, you see that it's actually illuminating my hand. So that's the, so these are actually practical lights. So what is the point of all this? You see, all of those things have their own use cases. And let me show you. Let me just turn off the side light. Do you see how it looks like right now? It looks good. It does not look bad because key light is actually illuminating a large part of my face. But you see, this side got way too dark and just goes into darkness very easily. Just add the light. It looks much better. Add a more light and it gives you a contrast of white daylight and the tungsten light to the side. 
which looks pretty good. Now you see the monitors are turned off. You see, I'm visible, clearly visible right here, but it's kind of too dark on a background. Again, it's purely aesthetic, but it's and it's purely based on a taste, but this background looks way too dark for me. It does not look that great. As soon as I move my mouse right here, it should turn on and immediately it gives it gives an image a bit of depth a bit something that is happening behind me let's turn off table lighting as you can see immediately it feels way too empty it feels way too dark on a background now turn it on and even though it adds a very little amount of light it looks pretty good you see uh, things like that and small things like that like lighting actually helps a lot and now let's turn off the main light the key light that's how my image looks like without a key light will it be very pleasant for you to talk to me like that it it's for sure it's very dramatic but not very educational so yeah let's turn up turn uh, the light back on so the things like that the lights like that the a light play like that actually helps a lot you don't need an expensive key light like that to be using you can find a cheap ring light and this is actually cheap ring light it's not something very expensive or very big and powerful this is actually a cheap ring light that i bought years ago and i'm, I'm still using for my videos and actually was using this as my key light for for years possibly for a really long time before i got this uh large soft box i'm actually i can actually show you this i can actually bend like that it's actually it's actually something like that this is my key light let me get back to position and yeah this light play like that helps a lot with a great video quality this is what makes or breaks the quality of course the camera matters of course the good camera matters but i'm not gonna be lying by saying that i've recorded majority of my courses on udemy using this webcam and other part using a cheap iphone cheap and old iphone to be fair yes i was recording a lot of my videos on an iphone so key point here is that you need to have a good environment to record where you will record these talking head videos matters much more than anything else don't record with your headlight on the headlight the light that is illuminating usually the room is the worst light that you can get. It's, it does not look good. Never ever in any circumstances, your headlight will look any better or even any close to just maybe a single light. Let's just turn off this one or maybe even decrease the, the brightness of this light. Yes, it even this, even this, trust me, looks much better than the headlight. It will look much better. I, I, my headlight is now disconnected there because I'm, I never use this, but yeah, you know, but yeah, it's actually much better. Let's get back to the full blast like that yeah the key point in recording of the talking head videos is that we just need to sit down have a script of an outline in front of you and just talk literally just talk and allow your environment to do everything around you that's basically what it is just talk and just convey your message to your students just talk whatever you want to talk about and that is basically it this is the key takeaway of talking head videos just sit down and talk to your camera sit down and talk to your camera i repeat that sit down and talk to your camera i'm absolutely sure that 99 percent of you will feel very uncomfortable doing that but when you'll do it once three times four times ten times hundred times thousand times <laughs> you're gonna get used to it you are going to get used to it and that's the same and that goes back to creating of the multiple courses it doesn't matter what your course will be about your course quality will increase as you will create more courses because you will become more comfortable in front of the camera and that is clearly visible for any student confidence on your camera directly transfers into a visibility basically into maybe if you're called illusion it's not an illusion but for some it's an illusion illusion of knowledge of an instructor so know that the confidence is extremely important in your camera and you can train your confidence by doing talking head videos like this one and by doing them a lot and i mean a lot that's why the creation of the youtube channel will be probably the most beneficial thing for you as an instructor because you will train basically for your courses in this way and when you will and and the when when the time of the course creation will actually come you'll be ready You'll be ready for any camera and for anything that is thrown basically in front of you. I guess this will be it all about the recording. And I guess in the next lectures, we can actually start moving on to editing. Yep, I'm going to see you there.